And here we go. And you'll see who's going to be added first. So Farah, uh, boo to you, me, 47 Steve, the king, and then Farah's. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Right, today I have a auto team splitter for you. That'll just basically show you how to make a uh, automated um, team allocation unit that'll randomly select players, add them to the various teams that they need to be in, and then teleport them to the locations that you want to set. So you'll see I've got five people on here, that's including me, and I'll be added to these teams as well. And um, all I need to do first of all is just reset all of their, um, I just need to kind of reset all of their teams so that we can start from scratch. So I'm just going to go teams, join, leave at all. So everybody's now no longer in a team. Okay. And I'm then just going to reset all of their various scores so that we can allocate players. So here we go. I'm going to hit the button. You'll see that the players will be added. I'm added first. Then it was, uh, oh, uh, 47 Steve. Then it was Faraz. And, uh, well, uh, stop stop bending the king the king somebody okay so you'll see that we've been added pretty much equally you can also see on the right hand side pretty much equally been added to the, the various teams because we um yeah because we kind of uneven number the next person who joins will be added to the green team okay so i'm going to show you that again very very quickly so i'm going to have them all leave their teams i am going to then uh, teleport them to myself so everybody's here and then I am going to um, you know activate this block over here just wait for them all to spawn and here we go and you'll see who's going to be added first so far uh, boo to you me 47 Steve the king and then Faraz. so see I'm now on the green team and the king is on the green team and Steve and boo and all of the rest are on the other teams now um, it's slightly unfair because I'm not really going to be fighting. Let's just do this again. Let's reorganize the team. So I'm in green again. Um, there we go. That's two on two. Right. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm actually going to teleport them to uh, the teams to the various spots that they need to be. Right. So this is my little test area where they can go and kill themselves while I kind of show you guys how this actually works. So first of all, let's bring the red team. Then we're going to bring bring the green team. Um, where's the where's the other two teams? So I've got a team one here, which is a, a red team. I've got a team two here, which is the green team. And you're also going to need to create two objectives. One is team, which is a dummy variable, and the other one is in team, which is also a dummy variable. And these two variables will just tell us first of all which team a person should be added to. So this is the team variable. And the in team will tell us um, if the person has been added to the team or which person should be added to the team. It will all make sense in a moment. So there's uh, three command blocks that you need to do or three commands that you need to run. First command is just scoreboard team add T1. So I'm going to call the first team just T1. It's easier that way. I'm then going to set the color to red. So scoreboard teams option T1 color red. And I'm going to turn off friendly fire for team one. So anybody in the, in the red team will not be able to kill each other or hurt each other. And the same will be for, t for, the, uh, for team two, which is the green team, which I just called T2. Exactly the same. This map will be in the uh, as a download, so do go check it out. And to create the objective, um, I've, it is very straightforward and simple. Scoreboard, objective, add a team or add team as a dummy variable and display it as team. And the other one is scoreboard objectives, add in team as a dummy and display it as in team. Now you'll see I do have two command blocks in the front here, which actually removes the team and removes the in team objectives. What that does, it clears out my, my team scoreboard and my in team scoreboard so that when I do need to display it, it'll be clean and clear. So I'm just going to do that. You'll see it's disappeared and I've kind of pretty much reset the whole the whole. Now I have two circuits running and you'll see they're slightly different, but I have two circuits running, uh, a red circuit and a green circuit. The red circuit adds people to the red team. The green circuit adds people to the green team. Now 
Yes, this is going to be a little bit complicated, so just bear with me. I'm going to do my best to see if I can get you guys to understand the concepts. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, set all players to be in the current team that will receive a player. So if somebody new joins, um, they're going to be added to the green team. So what we do is anybody who is not in a team, we set their team score to 2, which is means the green team. Okay, and we do that with this command block over here. Okay, so anybody who's an in team score of zero will be uh, will get a team score of two, right? So now that we have somebody who's not in a team, will now be designated to be in a team number two. We now select one player from that team, and we the way we select them is by we give them an in team score of ten. So only that player will have an in team score of ten. Okay, so only that player. Then the next thing we do is now that we have, we know that the, they need to be in team two, which is the green team, and we know who the player is. It's player that's got a, 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 a in team score of ten. We can now add them to the team. So now we just say, join the team two, uh, the player who has an in team score of ten, okay, and who has a score team of two. Join them to the green team, so team two, right? So what we then have on this side, now this is where these two circuits slightly differ, and it's just to do with, I don't know, they, 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 I found some kind of bug uh, in the redstone, and this is kind of a way that I got around it. So you'll see that I've got a repeater over here that constantly updates this block, okay? What this block then does, now that we've got somebody in a team, we now say, anybody who's in team two right who has a in team score of 10 teleport them to that location over there so that's the red spot on the green over there okay once we've actually um, teleported them we then have another clock running or another repeater running that then activates this command block over here that then sets anybody who's in team 2 who has a minimum in team score of 10 we give them an in-team score of 2. So they are now in-team 2. Okay. So that just stops them from being teleported, being added to the team. So it just kind of stops that from happening. Okay. Once that happens, on this side of the on the green circuit, I then have a comparator. So when somebody is put into team, an in in-team score of 2, it will then set um, the scoreboard for all players to team one. So all players will now have a team one. So remember this one over here at the bottom sets all for team two, but this just sets it for everyone to team one. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I'm controlling this uh, piston with a test for command that tests for if anybody or the closest player that has a team minimum of one. And when they do, it will activate and it will then activate, it'll push this uh, red you know, it'll push this block forward and it'll then activate the red team. Right, and you'll see over on the bottom here it says, um, just once again, adds anybody who's not in a team who has a minimum in team, in, in team score of zero, it'll add, give them a team score of one. So it starts all over again and then this command block over here randomly selects one of them by giving them an in team score of 10. Uh, they then get added to the team one, they then get teleported to the red spot um, they then get they actually get an in team value of one so because they're, they're in in team one and then the whole thing gets reset by having uh, the team for everybody set to two which means this command block will turn false which will turn off and it'll then activate the green so then it'll add a player to the green uh, come up here it'll add it to one the one will then activate the um, the piston, which will then run the red circuit, the red circuit will turn on, add a blade to the red, etc., etc., etc. So it'll totally all, it'll keep on cycling through these team teams and adding people to random teams until the moment that all members have been added to a team. It's quite complicated, but that is as simple as it is. So I'm not going to do a, a build on this, but just pause here if you want and have a look at how this works. So I've got a hopper clock running over here, which I can turn off at any time. Okay, well, I'm going to turn it turned on. On this side, it runs into a test for command block, the test for uh, team one. It then runs into a um, piston 
that then switches between the red and the green team. Okay, and then I just have a clock on this side running, or not a clock, I have a circuit on the side running that is activated by a comparator on this side, and on this side is not activated com by a comparator, it's just a straightforward um, repeater that flashes on and off. If both of these circuits are identically for some reason that I cannot find or figure out, um, these comparators, either one of them on each one of the sides will then actually freeze. Cool, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, as always, I will check you all later.